Hello, everybody. That was stressful. I'm here. <laughs> How are we doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. Look how bright it is. It's actually sunny for a change. We're going to make bacon from potatoes, and I have had a stressful morning. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I spent probably about two hours this morning trying to find potato starch. Apparently potato starch is not a normal thing. So yeah, too many shops I was in this morning. I was I almost gave up and was gonna make potato starch myself, which I, no, I didn't want to do that today, but I found some, so we're all good. And that's what we're using to make bacon. I'll explain it just now. I'm gonna make potato noodles. They're not gonna be spaghetti. They're gonna be slightly different. So it's going to be potato noodles, potato creamy sauce, potato bacon. Oh, that's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> okay. We can get started. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm intrigued. I've got, I've got high hopes for it, but I had high hopes for everything I did this week and this week's been a disaster. So we'll, we'll see. I'm not going to jinx it. I got extra potatoes. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do my own potato starch. I uh, bought a lot of potatoes. I can show you. I have this. So these are herb mixes that I made myself, Kala. And it's they're gluten-free, vegan, and low FODMAP. So I have no garlic or onion in them. I am working on trying to get delivery worldwide. It's tricky because of what it is, but I'm working on it. And when it happens, there'll be a discount code in the Discord. <laughs> just so you know. Right, I'm gonna just stick the potatoes on to cook. Thank you, McLaughlin. Okay, potatoes are on. This, I mean, this looks so dodgy. So dodgy. This was after me hunting for ages for this potato starch. I found it. I mean, that, come on. <laughs> Does that look like potato starch? No, 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 Are you just checking it's definitely not drugs? <laughs> One cup of potato starch in each bowl. Right, so we want a cup of potato starch in each bowl. And basically what we're doing is we're doing one bowl that's going to be like the bacon, like the meat part. And then one bowl that is more like the fat part. So this, that's how this is gonna work, apparently. Oh, because it's far too cold out there. But maybe he needs to lose, so. <laughs> oh, it's in two bags. There he is, he's back. <laughs> I just, I know we shake. I know he's gonna go to his bed, I think. One tablespoon of coconut oil in each bowl. Okay. Oh god, now I need to try and get out my coconut oil. Two thousand years later. Um, but ma mainly just food and cooking. Really? I don't really have a lot of time for hobbies. Unfortunately. But, I mean at least I, I kind of do, like, my job is my hobby. Because my job's my hobby, that makes it a bit easier. Okay. That doesn't seem like a lot of paprika. I am a big fan of it, so I think it'll be nice. Oh, that was lucky. I've just got a feeling that liquid smoke is maybe slightly stronger. So let's, let's add a bit more. Okay, I think that'll do for that. And then we'll put maybe half a cube in. This is like the actual meat part of the bacon. And then this is the fat part. <laughs> yes, but garlic powder is so good. I can't have too much of it, but it's so good. Is that three quarters? Yes. Used to consume as this cheese and onion mash. Would you recommend it? Barbecue boy. <laughs> It's like yam mash. It does. It looks like like pumpkin or something. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, green bacon. Mm -hmm. Blue or green? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna add the 
purple first Mez and then we'll see Pur I'm hoping it's not gonna be purple yeah half a cup of starch okay we're, we're going with it Right, I reckon that looks about right. So, this one, I, fuck, I really don't like cooking with cups. I prefer grams, but this recipe is in cups and I'm following it exactly so that we get it right. A full cup of boiling water. So I'm gonna mix the coconut oil in a wee bit first. And this is literally just potato starch and coconut oil so far. <laughs> weird and spongy. I'm out of impossible. Oh no! Oh, it's still quite hot. I mean, it kind of looks like fat. This is the strangest consistency. It's not quite as nicely stringy as his is, but... Oh, if you, if you do, that would be amazing, Ethan. Thank you. So, this should be pink. It's not because I didn't have beetroot powder. So it's like chorizo bacon we're going with. Right, so it just kind of flattens it out. I probably put too much, yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll rub it off when we're, I just don't want it to stick to anything. So how large are we making this? It's going to be kind of like streaky bacon, Miz. I'm not going to start shaping it. Nope. Nah. <laughs> so I hope that's, I hope that'll do for you. But it's going to be kind of American streaky bacon, but thick. Yeah, we've got good bacon here. We've got the best bacon. That's what it looks like. A flat flop. <laughs> this one. Fuck, that's a rolling tin. A rolling tin. I'm sorry, my accent is not helping. <laughs> No worries, dear. Thank you for your alert. I appreciate it. I hope you find something good to eat. Oh, it's going well. It's going well so far, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I've already been called out so many times today. Mainly for going to the wrong place to try and find potato starch. Everyone else knew where it was. <laughs> so next time, if I ever... If I ever have any questions before I need to go to the supermarket, I'm going to put it in the Discord. And if you don't all answer me, I'm going to be furious at you. <laughs> oh, they're having de technical difficulties, right? I mean, I'm just going to go with it because how often do people hold it? Four inches wide. See, I've got a feeling I've maybe got a wee bit too much. Few inches later. Right, so that's our that, there's our bacon. Obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this up in cling film. We've only got seven days left. So I was like, well we might we might just not make it and that would be okay. But I think we might actually make it. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to make this into like pretty much just mash with some flour. Pure command, should say go see Josh. <laughs> I don't know, Fox, actually, I think, to be honest, just as long as it takes me to do everything else. <laughs> so maybe like an hour? No, it's going to be longer than that. Maybe an hour and a half? Right, what did I say? I can't remember. Two teaspoons. I'm, I'm not, no. I'm dubious as well, McLaughlin. It smells weird as well. If you dunk cookies into milk, McLaughlin, or tea or something, and how do you dunk? 
you don't that's the correct answer stretch teeth in half and quit <laughs> exactly in general you don't dunk thank you mclaughlin you want a crunchy biscuit that's the whole point judo's here i feel like i've not seen you in ages judo you have a shirt idea can't remember the exact words but it's a shirt with a picture with a spoon on it professional or expert cookie extractor with a spoon <laughs> i like it look -o. i mean not for me but i think it's appropriate for you so get one because i had to be back in time for stream i didn't have it like i didn't have a chance to properly look at stuff so i looked at what i could look at and just grab some things but look oh that's on already Deep fried bits of tofu. So excited. So excited. <laughs> oh my God. And they're gluten free. It's literally just to tofu that's been deep fried. Well, I feel better now. <laughs> I needed that. It's just, it's, it's so easy to overcomplicate things. But I reckon it'll be worth it, I hope. Potato noodles with potato sauce and potato bacon and potato egg. All of that. Actually, hang on. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited I threw it away. <laughs> the egg is potato as well. It did. Thank God. <laughs> I do. I need it. I'm pre burning oh. off all the potato calories. Mez, take that back. <laughs> take it back, no, right now. Flour. I think it's just plain flour. Oh God, I need to get more plain flour. There you go. <laughs> so that's, I think that's how we're gonna do the, the wee pastas. All the gifts, Luco. So I've still got a lot of mash left. <laughs> a lot of mash. However, I'll do something with it. <laughs> I don't know what, but I'll do something with it. And look, look how beautiful our pasta looks. I'd say that looks pretty good. Moji does know things. And then Beth, but really, McLaughlin? Oh, I am glad. Did you take a picture? I bet you didn't. <laughs> Right, so potato, half life size, right, that's okay then. We're gonna put some oil and then we're gonna fry off some onions, some garlic, some potato and some carrot. I don't want too much color on the onion. I first smell and that's then taste. That's madness. How can you not like the Mars ice cream? It's so good. <laughs> Just so that we can prove that there is literally potato in all of this. It's too hot. Stop it now. I'm just gonna add the stock just now because it's all stuck to the bottom. Okay, so, oh, just spilled it all over the, the thing, man. Right, so, this is our base. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it and we're just gonna see what happens. So, nutritional yeast. No, I'm gonna put a wee bit of the other one in as well because that one's not that strong tasting. So let's try some more. Yeah, but if you have it in a creamy sauce, look, oh, then the cream kind of dulls it down. <laughs> I can't remember how we did this the last time. And then we're gonna fry it all off and put it all together and see what happens. 
And again, quantity is not a clue. I'm hoping there's enough liquid. I might have to add a wee bit more, but I think I should be okay. I know I don't have one of them hojo I should though, but look how creamy it looks. Oh, it looks brilliant. I'm so happy. Just to keep it warm and then I might actually eat um, and a hot dinner tonight, which would be really exciting. Slice this up and fry it. And then in the same pan, I'll probably just then fry the, the noodles. I was trying to make less mess, but then I still made a mess. So we know now. <laughs> Are we ready for this? I mean, it's not as, um, it's not as like streaky as his was. Oh, that's better. That's a Huge bit of fat, good God. Look! <laughs> but that's a lot of fat. And then we're about to make our bacon and I'm buzzing. Because <laughs> it's all working so far. I did not think, I thought of all of the things I'm doing this week, this is not gonna work. This is gonna be the one that I'm gonna go, what were you thinking? That's not hot enough. I just added smoked paprika, Mez, because I didn't have liquid smoke, so I just used smoked paprika instead. And I thought that'll do. <laughs> it's witchcraft, it is. I reckon it's done. Yeah. I don't know, it's not got a strong smell at all. Right, we need to... We need to have a look at this first here. Yeah, I think that's it. I think if we had more of the smoke. Okay, I'm just going to try and brush a wee bit of this on and see. Yes. Thank you for being here, Lupa. We'll see you soon. Oh, it smells, it immediately smells so much more like bacon. And then we'll get the wee potato doodads on. Yes, so I'm gluten intolerant and I have been gluten free for, again, how do I need to work this out every time? Um, five years. So this is where I'm concentrating. Nothing burning. No, we're okay. Nothing's burning at the moment. As long as it tastes good and you enjoyed making it. <laughs> That is all that matters. I'm trying to think. McLaughlin. <laughs> it needs to be perfect. I don't like this either. I want the plate now. It has to be right because we've spent a lot of time on this. A lot of time and um, energy. See, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> And then we'll just make sure this is all mixed together. And then I think I just want to kind of pop some of that on the top. It's quite hard trying to make this look nice because it's just potatoes. <laughs> it's all just potato. Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. It does taste a wee bit different to car carbonara, but I would say mainly because of the potato, like the pa, I was gonna say mainly because of the potatoes, it's all potato. <laughs> Always lurking, even better. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I will see you all on Tuesday. I'll be about Discord tomorrow if anyone wants to chat. And yes, 
intended for mature audiences, just so you know. And have a lovely rest of Sunday, everybody. Um, I had a lovely one. I will see you all on Tuesday. Okay, bye.